Rediscover Flow at discoverflow.co. Flow, inspired by you. Flowering Pui tree is a sight to behold. Usually around this time, just over the midway hump of dry season, we see them bloom in abundance. Did you notice? TDT News came across social media threads where the beauty and proliferation of the Pui this year were being expounded upon, many saying they can't remember seeing this number of trees blooming at once in years. Lecturer of Plant Science at the University of the West Indies, Dr. Linton Arnold, calls it synchronized reproduction and says there are certain conditions which trigger this. Generally, yes, we have seen an increase in flowers this year. And the reason for that is because we had such a severe drought period. Remember I said these plants, they would drop their leaves. Okay, water will become a limiting factor and they would accumulate, they would absorb this water Right, so we had a severe drought, and guess what? We had an uh, individual um, episode of rain, which was large enough, which triggered that synchronized reproduction. All the poi trees, they started to flower as a result of this. He says there is an environmental benefit to this. One of the advantages of synchronized um, reproduction or mass fruiting, and that's what everyone experienced along the northern range with the yellow flowers. As I said, it helps to maintain um, genetic diversity within the species. Okay, when we talk about genetic diversity, we're talking about um, the ability for these plants to cope with climate change, to cope with an increase in temperature, and to cope with other um, adverse environmental conditions. And while there are several different types of trees here that Trinidadians call pui, the yellow pui is indigenous to Trinidad and Tobago. But think carefully about where you plant it. It's a huge tree. Um, it depends on exactly where you plant it. If the resources are favorable, it can grow up to, what, 20 to 30 um, feet tall, okay? Um, so I would not recommend that for persons living in the urban conditions. If you have a huge backyard and you have land, you should definitely plant that yellow pui. However, there is a pui called Tobago pui, which is Tacoma stance. It's a relatively short tree. It doesn't grow more than, more than 10 to 15 feet. Um, I would definitely recommend that you plant that one. It's very robust. Um, it has the ability to survive in dry conditions. Generally, pui can bloom multiple times a year one at the height of the dry season, um, one at the latter end, and one at the end into the rainy season. Yeah, and that's when you know rain is going to fall. And it coincides with the water in the motel where they actually angle um, their leaves and it symbolizes that the humidity is high and guess what, it's going to rain and it's the official set of the rainy season. There are several other trees that flower alongside the Pui adding to the variety of color we see, like the pink and white pui, the queen of flowers, and the African tulip. Dr. Arnold is advocating for more persons to become plant aware, starting with the children. Trees and their ecosystem helps with flood water retention, which any country, any government can spend millions of dollars, aquifer replenishment, so much other um, ecological services that trees provide. Trees provide food for animals. We eat animals. Trees provide food, um, oxygen that we need to breathe. So next time you want to know when the rain going to fall or maybe get that little clue, perhaps the Pui's may tell you. I'm Stacey Ann Providence, keeping it green for TDT News.
at Flow, we're inspired by all the things that go on in your home. Like the efforts you make to keep your connections healthy. Ooh, I love this part. And by your need for a release of endorphins that keeps you young and energetic. And by the couch potato in your home, who hates to move more than an inch. So we gave you a remote that you can speak to. House of the Dragon. We were even inspired by this. Mom, the Wi-Fi is down! Never mind! We're also inspired by the young, enthusiastic athlete who understands how technology can improve their game. So, when you sign up at Flow to a fiber-powered network that now comes with gig speeds, you sign up for a network that's inspired by you. No wonder it fits your home so well. <laughs>